Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to talk about keychain mini multi-tools and whether they are relevant for modern bushcraft to bring out in the field. What do you think? First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. Thanks. So in this discussion, we're not talking about multi-tools in general, so I'm not talking about the full-size tools like this. This is the Swiss Tech tool, which is a clone of the Leatherman Wave. This is the Leatherman Rebar. I'm not even talking about smaller, handy multi-tools like the Roxon or this Gerber Armbar. So these are considered larger multi-tools. Really, this discussion is about these mini keychain tools over here. And just for examples of the Gerber Splice, the Leatherman Squirt, the Next 2 Mini Flagship, the Leatherman Micra, Gerber Dime, and the Victorinox Rambler. Now, this discussion is not about the individual tools and which has more functionality and which may be better for modern bushcraft. Uh, this really is about whether this style of multi-tool and this size is relevant to bring out into the field. Now, these of course are really handy and a lot of people will bring these out for urban EDC. They attach them to the keys, they put them into different emergency or EDC kits. But if you're going out to the jungle or the forest for bushcraft or camping, does this really have its place? Should this be in your pack or on your belt or in your pocket to take up that valuable space and wait to bring out into the field? Now, most people would prefer to bring a full-size multi-tool. And of course, if they're talking about a blade, they'd rather bring a large fixed blade or maybe a large folder. But I think there is actually a place for these small multi-tools. Now, often when we go out to do bushcraft, of course, our tasks are generally not so refined. We're working with bigger items, whether you're cutting wood, carving wood, splitting wood, or just general camp tasks, working with rope and cordage uh, and things like that. So you might not think you need those uh, really finesse small tools that you might uh, need when you're out in the city or you're at home and about in the office. However, I've actually found that these can be pretty useful out in the field. And in fact, I personally do bring out uh, a small multi tool. Currently, I bring out the squirt and I actually keep it in this pouch where I have uh, my compass as well. And actually, I do have a lanyard which I've put here for safekeeping. So this lanyard goes onto the squirt, which is my tool of choice that goes in in that uh, compartment over there. And this goes on my belt, uh, right to my right and front. So it's really easy to access if I need it. So that's how I carry it. And I do, for the record, bring out a small multi-tool. And the reason I bring it out is there are some really fine tasks. Uh, where such a tool can be very helpful. Whether you need to get into some kind of a crevice, you need to pry something out, or you need to cut something, uh, tools like this can be very useful. Now, if you need a pair of tweezers, of course, if you have scale tools with tweezers, that can be very useful as well. But I'm really talking about more of the other tools inside, like these small uh, screwdrivers, and even in this case, the pliers. Now, you might be thinking, why would you need a pair of pliers out in the field? Well, I found it very useful. I'll give you an example over here. This isn't the actual example that happened to me, but I did have a similar kind of a molly system uh, where I had straps. And now the molly system, it can be very snug depending on the manufacturing standards. And sometimes you need to get a strap out through a strap. And just give you an example over here. Let's say I wanted to tighten this strap here, the one inside. It's really tough for me to get a grip to pull it with my fingers. But if I use these small pairs of pliers, I can just reach that and I can grab that really easily and uh, vice versa to remove it. And also if I want to pull apart knots and stuff, I found this uh, to be even more effective than larger pliers, right? If you're to bring out the larger multi-tools. So I do like that. Uh, for that reason. And if you're talking about, let's say, the small screwdrivers, which are present in virtually all these size multi-tools, uh, there are times where you might have equipment which might have screws. If you're working with electronics like a GPS unit 
or maybe something larger, maybe you have a portable power station or generator, you might need these screwdriver elements in. As something as simple as, let's say, a Kydex sheath, which has attachments. Now, it's possible that maybe one of these get loose, and then that's where the screwdriver comes in, just so useful to tighten that up so you don't lose your knife, for example. So these are just some examples of why such a tool comes in useful and I've used them more than once and actually the small blade as well has actually uh, been useful sometimes I just don't want to deploy such a big blade when I need to make a very fine cut I just take this use this and make that cut so I have actually used this uh, quite a bit when I'm out in the field not every single trip definitely not as much as let's say my fixed blade or my parang uh, but definitely it has its place at least uh, for my own kit when I go out to bushcraft. Uh, but what are your thoughts if you go out camping or go out bushcrafting? Do you bring a mini multi tool like this? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.